Okay, this video covers uh, creating a, pi a pivot chart excuse me, in uh, Excel 2007. And the way Excel 2007 handles uh, pivot charts is a big improvement from Excel 2003. Alright, let's take a look at our end result here. Uh, we've got loans by city and by type. Okay, and right in the middle we've got the average loan by city and by type. So let's go ahead and jump to our data here. I've highlighted the range of data. I'm going to click Insert, Pivot Table, and then hit OK. And over on the right-hand side, we've got this new Pivot Table field list. And I've got to determine what items I want as row labels, column labels, and values. Now, in this case, I'm going to choose City, and I'll choose uh, Loan Type. Okay, so I'll scroll down this list, and then I'll choose Amount as well, because I want the amount to be in the middle there. There are, there are a couple of options. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take type here and I'm going to drag it over to the right hand side into the column labels just so that it's organized a little bit better. Okay, And that's pretty much it. Now notice uh, when I scroll up to the top here instead of sum of amount which right now it's telling me that in Albuquerque the total car loans are 91,000. So I can right click on sum of amount go to summarize data by and then choose average okay and then kind of format all of that stuff in the home tab decrease decimal icon a couple of times okay so I've got a couple of options there um, but this new area on the right hand side makes it a little bit easier to manipulate data and all of this is basically coming from just a range of data so a pivot table is a very valuable business decision making tool um, that allows you to take one variable and kind of plot it against another and perform calculations on how those two variables intersect. All right.